How's it going? Excuse me, I'm just making a video. Hey, yeah. hey do you want to say hi? What up, this what might up? just go on YouTube. How are we doing? We're getting ready to get pumped up. No, pumped up. <laughs> no seriously, this might go on YouTube. Let's go. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to be doing uh, some tennis uh, classes over there or some uh, conditioning stuff. How's it going? Uh, my name is Thomas. Today we're going to be talking about three ways that cryotherapy can help with weight loss. Those three being, uh, number one, how it uh, helps turn white fat into brown fat, which I'll explain what brown fat is and everything. Uh, number two, kickstarting your metabolism. And number three, helping you manage stress. Uh, real quick, I wanted to show you guys the gym that's uh, part of this area, Ice House Cryotherapy and Eastside Tennis Center. Uh, basically, you get a free gym session every single time you use the cryo chamber. So, figured it'd be worth mentioning. And the other thing I want to show you guys real quick is the tennis center. I'm actually not going to say anything as I show you this because there are people out there that would be weird, but check this out. So, there's actually like um, one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, eight or so uh, tennis courts out there. But the thing we're gonna be talking about today is the cryo chamber. I just thought I'd show you guys real quick. I thought it would be kind of cool. Um, we'll be moving around again a little bit just to kind of keep uh, the backdrops interesting. But uh, for now, we're gonna stick with this. So two things, before we actually get into the benefits of cryotherapy, uh, you know, related to weight loss, that is, uh, I wanna say that the majority of the benefits uh, of cryotherapy come from this hormone called norepinephrine. Uh, basically, every single time you enter the chamber, it's released into your body and brain in two to three fold. It's consistent every single time, even if you do it 12 weeks straight, every single day. And the reason is because it's a fight or flight hormone. Basically, your body has to release it or you would die because it is the hormone that relates most to all the benefits of cryotherapy, including the metabolic benefits and everything, uh, including inflammation and so on and so forth. So uh, it's, it's important that we mention. The other thing real fast is I want to set up a reasonable expectation for weight loss here. Um, and what I mean is if you're trying to lose like eight to 10 pounds in a month, that is realistic. That's reasonable uh, for a person to do so. But to lose that, you have to be able to burn a thousand calories a day. Basically a muscle, or I'm sorry, a pound of fat, I don't know why I said muscle, a pound of fat is equivalent to roughly 3,500 calories. Uh, so basically seven days, 7,000 calories. If you burn a thousand calories a day, two pounds a week, you got what I'm saying? So just kind of putting, you know, putting this in a realistic perimeters. So, um, brown fat to white fat, basically in places where, you know, it, it's colder and people have to be outside more or, um, you know, just in general, if you work outside or if you're exposed to these temperatures, it, it's been shown that you have higher concentrates of brown fat. It's just a natural thing. Um, that's just like going into the cryotherapy chamber is going to cause you to, to gain more brown fat because it's normal. It's natural. Uh, it's just like lifting a weight. Your body prepares itself every single time for this situation. Now, what brown fat is, is just a more mitochondria dense white fat. Mitochondria is dense in iron and it gives it this brown color. And that's, that's really all there is to it. Now, how does it create more? Let's talk about that real quick. Norepinephrine sends this signal to this thing called UCP1 and UCP1 sends a signal or I should say uncouples the charge that's in mitochondria because you see mitochondria is kind of like a battery. It has a positive and it has a negative charge and UCP uncouples those charges so that it's not there anymore. Uh, your body you can tell how much energy you have based on these charges. So when that charge goes away, your body thinks you have no energy, and so it starts rapidly producing more mitochondria. Um, that's how you end up more, uh, with more. Uh, as little as 10 consecutive sessions can increase your mitochondria count and your brown fat by as much as 38%. That's, that's huge, that's, that's significant. Um, basically, it'll help your resting caloric burn. It'll help you stay warm in winter conditions and you'll have more of a reserve of energy in case you ever are in a fight or flight situation and need to be on the move, you know what I mean? So that's number one. Number two is uh, kickstarting your metabolism, right? So it'll help you burn 500 to 800 calories while in there. And you heard that right, 500 to 800 calories. And basically, um, when you're in there, your body gets frozen. Your skin temperature is going to be brought down to like 30 degrees Fahrenheit in some places. Not all places, of course. Like, you know, obviously your chest is going to be warmer than your fingers, you know what I mean? Uh, but everywhere in your body will be cooled down. And uh, it takes 75 to 90 minutes for your body to recharge or to fully heat back up. 
And the 500 to 800 calories really is just the trade-off. It's the, it's the price of energy. It's the price of the heat to keep your body warm. And so that's why you'll burn that much. So that's number two. Uh, if you think that doesn't sound significant, by the way, that's as much as an hour on the treadmill here uh, or as much as 90 minutes, I believe, on the bike at 10 miles an hour. So that's a lot of time you're saving there. And that gets you a lot closer to 2,000 calorie a day deficit, right? So that's why it's significant. Now, third and final is going to be stress management. This is twofold here I'm going to be talking about. Um, stress is, is important because, I mean, like, it, it is a factor in weight loss. If I had to, you know, say if there were four things that you should worry about in terms of losing weight, I would put it as third most important along with sleep. And just so you know, cryotherapy does help with sleep as well but it's not as significant or as proven as the stress management is. So I'm gonna be talking about that instead. So um, stress management. Norepinephrine is shown to actually uh, be a major factor in people who are depressed. People who don't have it are more likely to show signs of depression. And depression, uh, you know, stress, these things go hand in hand in making you crave certain foods and such. And in the world we live in now, that's a huge problem. Uh, basically, you know, like McDonald's, for example, French fries are like engineered to be as addicting as possible. And what I mean by that is that the moment you bite into a French fry, it hits you with the largest amounts of salts and fats possible, which send the most dopamine to your brain. And, uh, basically people are not made to think long term it was never a thing we never had to think 10,000 or even a couple years ahead when i say 10,000 and 10,000 days ahead or even a couple years ahead we only had to think as much as you know maybe a year ahead um so you would be uh you'd be smart to go for the immediate reward it would be your best choice to put on a couple extra pounds because you know you don't know what tomorrow's going to look like so so you need these kind of things and not only that but your brain had to find a way to motivate you uh, to go get that reward, to climb that tree and go get that fruit or whatever it was to make sure that we survived. Uh, so it's, it's important that you remain steadfast. And I say steadfast because norepinephrine, norepinephrine, norepinephrine uh, is huge in vigilance and alertness and uh, a lot of other cognitive functions. You see, basically, you know, I'm gonna kind of digress just a little bit. It helps with um, synapses connecting. It helps with um, uh, basically if, if you're if you fear you're gonna have a concussion. Like this is part of the reason why a lot of athletes use it, like MMA fighters or football players, is because it can help reduce these things. It can help temper them. Uh, it can help you know negate the effects of. Uh, but it's also huge in helping with focus. It's huge in, like I said, I use the word vigilance. Vigilance means like staying on top of something. It means like staying like, um, you know, you're gonna do this, right? I can't think of the exact word for it right now, but it'll help you manage these things and it'll help you, uh, it'll keep you from feeling stressed out. And that's why I said it was twofold. Number one, it'll help you keep, keep you from feeling stressed out. And number two, it'll keep you on your goal. It'll keep you focus and weight loss is a goal. And it's something that is very easy to fall off. Everyone has their vices. And uh, this is unfortunately one of the hardest ones. So I think that concludes everything. To recap real fast, there's three things. Number one is it helps turn white fat into brown fat by increasing the amount of mitochondria you have in your body. This will help increase the caloric burn, resting caloric burn. It'll help give you more energy for when you need it. It'll help keep you warmer in cold temperatures. Number two is you'll burn 500 to 800 calories, which is about the same as an hour on the treadmill. And you're shooting to lose, you know, to, to stay in a deficit, maybe lose a thousand calories a day if you're really trying to be quick, and that'll help you seriously get to that goal. And finally, excuse me, it'll help with stress management and it'll help you stay focused on what you gotta do. And stress, cortisol, this hormone does play a significant factor in weight loss and weight gain. So all three are important to make sure that, you know, uh, yeah, mitochondria, brown fat, calorie deficit, stress management. All three of these things are huge. So I hope this video made sense. I hope I explained everything all right. I tried to make it concise and I tried to, you know, communicate uh, what these things are as effectively as possible to you guys. 
Unfortunately, uh, the body is such a complex interconnected system where one thing often sets off a chain reaction uh, and you know, so many other things can't work without some other thing coming and working in, you know, with it. So it's sometimes hard to explain. So if I didn't answer your question, or if you want a more in-depth explanation, please comment below on YouTube here, uh, or Facebook, if we're on Facebook or wherever it is. Um, and if you want to message us directly uh, through the contact form, that's cool too. We have a bunch of great resources, including a frequently asked questions page on our, um, on our website. And you can check in our, at our about too. We kind of explain the origins, how the tennis court, this, uh, you know, the gym and the cryotherapy session uh, chamber and everything kind of came to be. So a lot of really interesting information on there. Anyway, guys, I'm Jordan on. So till next time, take care. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out. This is just the laser we use to check your temperature when you get out of the chamber. So we can see, you know, um, for example, I'm 80 degrees right now.